coming to you from Fada Gallery inside UJ's Banting Road campus out in Auckland Park, Johannesburg. Welcome to the Yard Bulletin. My name is Dumi Sidumedi and thank you so very much for staying with us. The local leg of the Banff Mountain Film Festival kicks off in and around South Africa on Friday the 25th of October. For the eighth consecutive year, the festival brings to our shores the best outdoor and adventure lifestyle documentaries. It's the Oscars of the outdoor film industry. We take the 50 best outdoor films from around the world, we cut it down into a two-hour segment, and that plays at selected Sturkinikor theatres around the country. And it's literally that, the top outdoor films. If someone's doing something ridiculous outdoors and they've filmed it, it's probably going to end up at the Banff Mountain Film Festival World Tour. What we try and do is we have a try to have an assortment of films. So some which are really on the extreme side of things, some which focus on expedition, and then some which should have a strong human interest factor. So it revolves around a certain character who's doing something amazing outdoors. One of South Africa's most favorite and outspoken uncles, Um Skalk Lawrence, is back. This time the iconic figure created by Herman Charles Bosman will grace the Ode Libertas Auditorium stage in Stellenbosch for two nights only. Um Skalk from the Heart is hosted by Asetet SA. The beautiful point in South African history about, you know, not officially apartheid, but that struggle, that negotiation. Um, and I think it's just such amazing storytelling, which is what Ashtate South Africa is so invested in, in bringing children to the theatre and allowing them to witness the power and the transformation or the transformative power of, of theatre. I think, you know, David Muller is just so perfect because he is this, um, he brings so much pathos and so much compassion and so much, um, as well, the, the sort of light, cheeky sense of humour in the play back into the role. South Africa's favorite a cappella trio, The Soul, will kick off their Reflections tour at Gold Reef City's Lyric Theatre on Friday. The tour will be a retrospective of their eight-year-long career. We caught up with them and asked them what their fans can look forward to. The journey has been rough, but beautiful at the same time, you know. We started off in high school, we didn't even know that we'd be here today. And we started off like just sharing our gifts and sharing our abilities to harmonize or whatever and it came to this part and I think what what made us be here today was the drive and the hustle that we always keep in our bags you know our success uh, we always attribute it to God himself uh, who is the first member of this group without him there's no the soil I think it's the right time <laughs> because uh, everything is just happening the way it has to happen uh, I believe in that. The, 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 there's no real time like the, the present one. Sam Keen once said, we come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. That and much, much more about love and who we find ourselves attracted to will be the subject of this year's past annual lecture hosted by Standard Bank. The lecture will be presented by Love Dr. Helen Fisher at the Witz Great Hall on Tuesday evening. Dr. Helen Fisher, she is a world authority on uh, human sexuality, uh, on mating strategies in humans, um, and on uh, reproduction in, in humans. The subject of love, of course, is uh, one which is uh, really the single most uh, thought about topic by poets and writers and songwriters, and one would think that uh, the last uh, way to look at it would be through a scientific perspective, per particularly in terms of its evolutionary development, what its origins were. American record producer Stuart Levine described it as simple and elegant. That's Grammy Award nominated pianist and producer Don Lager's new and much anticipated album entitled Portraits. A Portrait Fest is a very exciting project I've ever done in the sense that it's my first trio recording and uh, it was recorded in the studio on a Saturday with two American musicians and uh, it's got 10 tracks out of the 10 only one was composed earlier on meaning it was from my earlier recordings the rest of the recordings were composed during the same day of, the, of, of that. So it's a very, very unique recording uh, in terms of I've never done it to you in the first place. And secondly, uh, the, the music on it, you know, uh, it's a revisit of South African c uh, uh, culture of jazz from the Kwela, Marabi, and uh, to jazz music. 
The Think Theatre will be hosting auditions for the role of Othello, which will be staged in major cities around the country in 2014. The company is looking for a black male between the ages of 25 and 35, with auditions being held at the Rambelow Theatre in Durban from the 22nd to the 24th of this month. For the longest time, we've had the same cast. Um, they've been pretty loyal to us, but obviously times change and people get older and they, they want to face new challenges. So we've lost our previous Othello, uh, lovely Loiso MacDonald, to um, television work, and we are looking for somebody to fill the title role of Othello. Um, it's going, it's they're big shoes to fill. Um, that we're excited to go around South Africa and have a look at the talent that is out there. I know there's lots. Um, so we're looking for a, a, a man, uh, a black male, aged between sort of 25 and 35, although it's, it can be fluffy around the edges, um, who has some experience and who is, has a passion for acting and who's available for five months of 2014 from January through May. Africa's first design museum will be launched in Johannesburg's Maboneng Precinct next week. The Museum of Modern Art hopes to change perceptions about museums. It will also link the city's major existing art archives. Mode's goal is to showcase African design and creativity from across the continent. And in South Africa, a lot of what's going on north of the border hasn't really funneled down to, to this country. So there's going to be a lot of all sorts of design disciplines from fashion to urban planning to product design to transportation, architecture, really anything you can think of is going to be coming through mode. We've always wanted the space to be a museum. It's always been called a museum, but it hasn't been running as one. So this year we finally did some construction on the space. We made it completely usable um, and sort of at the same museum level that you'd find anywhere in the world. And so now we have a full-time staff and, and we're working on making it a fully operational museum. Graffiti artist Mars is giving Jobex train carriages, walls, alleyways and bridge pillars a break, at least until next Wednesday. The 25-year-old is making a transition from public spaces into a commercial gallery in his debut exhibition titled From the Ground Up. From the Ground Up explores Mars's transition from the street to the gallery. He spent 10 years painting on the streets and he's gotten a lot of experience from that and to now make a transition to a different kind of wall, an interior wall, has been quite an, a different experience for him um, using different materials and that basically explores his, his journey from the streets to the gallery. Well I think it's got a lot to do with the general trend of graffiti at the moment. Um, it's become more popular. It is moving into contemporary art and it's only natural for the transition to move from the street to the gallery. Um, I think it works both ways as well. There's a lot of gallery artists that are now making the move to doing street art. From the University of Johannesburg's Fada Gallery, that's all the art highlights we have for you today. Do check them out at www.uj.ac.za forward slash FADA. You can keep in touch with us by emailing the art bulletin at sabc.co.za. If you're more into social media, just follow us on Twitter or like our page on Facebook. Until next weekend, it's a goodbye from us. Mm -hmm.